Hey guys, happy Tuesday. How's it going? You know, I've been wondering what you guys have been up to. Me, personally, I've been watching a lot of TV and a lot of movies. As you know, I have a background in film, so I just love the stuff. More specifically though, I've always loved animation. Now, you might be saying, Mrs. Clark, animation is only for little kids. Ugh. No, no it's not. Animation is quite the art form. In fact, it is one of the amazing careers that you can go into if you choose to continue doing art throughout your life. Now, really cool, I got to take an animation class, my first animation class when I was in high school. And let me tell you, the animation software was so outdated and so hard to use, it made me never ever 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 want to do it again because it was so tedious. Well, Thankfully, animation has come a long, long way since then, and an even longer way since it began. Did you know animation began in 1824? The basics of animation. Not like we know it right now. I mean, right now, it's pretty crazy and it's pretty cool. Obviously, drawings have been around since back in the caveman days when they drew on their walls. But animation means that those drawings have to end up moving somehow. Hmm. Well, in 1824, Peter Mark Roget discovered something known as the persistence of vision in a little project that I'm going to teach you today. And the principle rests on the fact that our eyes temporarily retain the image of anything they've just seen. So. If it, this wasn't ever so, we would never get the illusion of an unbroken connection of series of images, and neither movies nor animation would be possible. Many people don't realize that movies don't actually move, and that there are still images that appear to move when they're projected in a series. Now, you might have noticed that I was reading off of something right there. I told you I had an animation class in high school. Well, I decided to give it another try when I went to college and it was a lot easier and a lot more fun then because technology had gotten even better, which means for you guys, if you have an animation class that's offered in high school, the technology is going to be off the hook, let me tell you. So I had this really awesome, huge animation book that I got in college and it has so many different cool things in it the history of animation along with all these different cool techniques to do. But what I wanted to teach you about today is our persistence of vision, a very simple project that you can do to animate the very beginnings yourself. So what we have today, all I have taken is a circle sheet of paper. On one side of my circle, I have drawn a bird. On the other side of my circle, I have drawn a cage. Okay, just simple up and down and sideways lines. I took a hole punch and I punched two holes into the sides of my circle, okay, so that my bird is right side up. I don't want my bird sideways when I punch the holes. I don't want the hole over here. That doesn't make sense. Okay. And then I took some string, whatever string you have lying around, and I looped it through those holes, tied it off. And I had some twine, so this isn't the best string ever. It keeps kind of coming loose. Um, just like so, okay? Like that. And what's going to happen is when I take my circle and I take my string between my two hands and I start to spin it really, really fast, you're going to notice that all of a sudden it looks like the bird is inside the cage. That is what persistence of vision is. And it's very, very basic. So I want you to give this a try today. It's super fun and super cool, especially when you see it in person. I know on computer, it's probably not that great. But when you see it in person, you'll be like, how in the world did I do that? I stuck the bird in the cage and they were in two different sides of the paper. So check that out. And, of course, watch some animated movies. If you happen to have Disney+, Plus, Onward is on there right now. And it was so good. I loved it. I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. See you tomorrow.